Welcome to the greatest story ever told. It's Holy Week, the week each year that we retell the greatest story ever told, the last week of Jesus' life. And for those of us who are lifelong Christians, it's really easy for us to just kind of, you know, wander through the week going about our normal business thinking, oh, you know, last Sunday is Palm Sunday, that was great. This coming Sunday is a big Sunday, it'll be great. And instead of really immersing ourselves into the story, the story that means so much to us and can impact our lives again each year, if we'll let it. And so I want to invite you to come to Monday Thursday services at 11 and 7, and Good Friday services at 11 and 7, because there's something powerful about letting the story unfold and being there for it. Holy Thursday, the, the night that Jesus gathered together his 12 closest disciples for one last meal, a time that, that he took the opportunity to, to give them holy communion for the first time. This Thursday, Pastor Jeff is gonna show us how there are many instances throughout the Old Testament where blood, the blood of animals, is used to purify and cleanse and forgive sins. And there's many different times in the Old Testament where food and drink is used to bring people together and include people into the family of God. And Jesus, on that night, took all of those Old Testament references and symbols and, and images and he brought them all together in the one most powerful way when he said, take and eat this bread, and take and drink this wine. It's my body and my blood given for you for the forgiveness of sins. And then on Good Friday, I want to invite you to join us again and I have uh, one scripture verse that I want to read for you. It's the, the scripture that I'm going to preach on on Good Friday. There they offered Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gall. But after tasting it, he refused to drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him there. And above his head, they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus. King of the Jews. So in preparation for that service, you might want to read that. That's Matthew 27, 34 through 37. Also included in the service will be Psalm 139, verses 1 through 12. You might want to read that before the service. And we'll see you Thursday and Friday as together the people of God come together for the greatest story ever told.